why is india considered as a subcontinent elaborate your answer so basically this is a famous term the in for india subcontinent not the continent but subcontinent it is also very special that worldwide the term subcontinent mainly for india and surrounding nations small small nation which are considered on the name of india indian subcontinent though these countries got independence pakistan bangladesh from india but still in the uh, geographical political economic and many more dimensions uh, the scholars and the people worldwide used to say this entire area is indian subcontinent including nepal bhutan sri lanka pakistan bangladesh so it is basically a kind of uh, area the india that is having so much influence in that so this region is very distinct in its nature or you can say it is very well demarcated and scholars were forced to use this term the indian subcontinent but if i say to call the subcontinent some criteria should be there so in initially introduction you may begin with that subcontinent is having the vast size as defined by several scholar it should be vast size if we are calling some area continent subcontinent even upahadeep vast size with distinct boundaries distinct boundaries and once uh, on this ground we observe india then you know it very well that once we check the indian scenario in this part suppose uh, uh, if i say in the diagram suppose it is africa and this side we have the gulf countries uh, here and then we have the our country in this side and then we say southeast asia and rest of the china and asia and then europe as well like that then you see in this particular part that one side we have the himalaya highest mountain barrier no mountain could be comparable to himalaya the highest natural barrier separating from china central asia this part the himalaya not only himalaya like that extension of himalaya slightly taking this turn sing texel band or band here northeastern region and arakan mountain of myanmar and this side the hindu kush separating india or this zone uh, from afghanistan and other part of the asia so here we have the hindu kush region hkh region hindu kush himalaya karakoram etc so northward if i talk about this zone is having very significant natural barrier himalaya and some mountains extension west and east this side a for arakan yoma here so you can say definitely distinct boundary made by which mountain in the north himalaya and westward which mountain hindu kush also the term hindu kush is indicating hindustan or hindu kush ke baad wala area entry to this area the india or hindu kush and this side uh, arakan in myanmar boundary and southward also massive water body arabian sea bay bengal and uh, rest of the indian ocean so indian ocean you can say even the name indian ocean so mountain like hindu kush the name like indian ocean indicating that uh, these this particular terms indicating that this zone by the scholars actually called on the name of india this zone the subcontinental area and definitely vast size means it is not too small including this area including sri lanka nepal bhutan pakistan seven countries we can say so presently this subcontinent uh, uh, between uh, mountains and indian ocean so land between indian ocean and himalaya and hindu kush and arakan yoma this land very well protected we call the indian subcontinent because it is definitely distinct boundary neither you will see europe that kind of distinct boundary ural mountain separating asia and europe but uh, easily cross ural mountain similarly you can say west asia not having that kind of mountains so cultural differences could be there in different area but as far as geographically well defined boundary even professor uh, several scholar professor chism said that nature has demarcated the best region for subcontinent that is india 
तो इंडिया को एक बिल्कुल अलग थलग नेचर नहीं बना दिया है वेल डिमार्केटेड एरिया सो यू कैन से फ्यू स्कॉलर्स इवन मैंशन दैट इंडिया इज वेल डिमार्केटेड बाई नेचुरल बाउंड्रीज फ्रॉम ऑल साइड इज ए परफेक्ट टू बी कॉल्ड ए सब कॉन्टिनेंट ड्यू टू वास्ट साइज एज वेल एज द डिस्टिंग बाउंड्री बट विच अदर आस्पेक्ट अदर देन दैट to say it is the continental like area or subcontinent upmahadweep then even you will say that this boundary is even indicating that this land is very special in its geology as well for example just before i told you it is it remained a part of the gondwana land after detached from gondwana land it came here so the plate indian plate the geological aspect uh, that maximum part even sri lanka is part of the indian plate pakistan bangladesh the part of indian plate like nepal bhutan so indian plate part geologically large area is having one plate geological unity only one plate major part indian plate europe ke andar bhi eurasian plate hai asia europe ka part shamil hai kai dusre bhi area hai jahan pe plate alag alag ho jati hai ek hi plate mein kai area hai basically but hamare area mein ek indian plate wala distinction hai ye area indian plate wala zone hai so we can say geologically one unity that indian plate got detached from the gondwana land separate entity so this geographically this barrier perfect barrier even once the geology and geography will uniting that then even the climate will also unify that this entire area once uh, uh, collided with eurasia in the past made the himalaya then monsoon also uh, later on monsoon climate ओशन की हवाओं ने पूरा रीजन एक पर्टिकुलर क्लाइमेट के तहत आता है मानसून क्लाइमेट यूनिटी हैवी रेनफॉल इन जून जुलाई अगस्त सितंबर मानसून क्लाइमेट यूनिटी ट्रू मानसून परफेक्ट मानसून रिवर्सल ऑफ द विंड्स इन दैट एरिया इन वन सीजन साउथ ईस्ट मानसून अनदर सीजन विंटर टाइम अक्टूबर नवंबर द नॉर्थ ईस्ट मानसून तो दिस एरिया मानसून क्लाइमेट यूनिटी इवन यू सी दैट आफ्टर दिस नेचुरल आस्पेक्ट यू कैन से जोलॉजिकल क्लाइमेटिक and uh, natural boundaries distinction even the history is also indicating the subcontinent nature the india is you know it very well that outside the world it was a kind of challenge to cross the uh, hindu kush through khyber and then they were very happy that they have entered the indian land after uh, crossing the hindu kush and uh, also several scholars uh, like vasco de gama from south uh, took too much time european to this area to india so this area always attracted in the psyche of the people that one prosperous land well protected and historically in the area the india or hindustan or past mein jambu deep bhi se kaha gaya ancient scripture mein jambu deep aur so jambu deep kabhi kaha gaya kabhi indica kaha gaya kabhi hindustan like that even the rulers of india verified that Ashoka ruled till Hindu Kush year. Same with Mughal rulers, same with British rulers as well. So whichever people, those have seen this part uh, in historical aspect also as a single unit, never separated that area. Even not only historical aspects like uh, this area, time to time remain under one single rule. Historical aspects, Mughal rule, Ashoka rule. and also the british rulers also the cultural aspects because same kind of geography same kind of geology same kind of historical aspect then culture will also be nearly same you will see on the peopling of that area racial intermingling that we call race रेशियल इंटरमिंगलिंग एज वेल सो यू विल सी कि कितनी रेसेज यहाँ से आई सेंट्रल एशिया से वेस्ट एशिया से बट जब ये क्रॉस करके इंटरमिंगलिंग हुई देन आउटकम वॉज ओनली द इंडियन सो वंस एनी पाकिस्तानी बांग्लादेशी श्रीलंकन गोइंग टू यूरोप और अमेरिका पीपल कांट फिगर इट आउट वेदर दिस फेलो इज नॉट इंडियन दे ऑल विल ओके दिस एरिया इज साउथ एशिया द इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट पीपल दीज ऑल आर so basically too much intermingling in racial aspect as well the peopling you can say even the religion religion is also binding them 
the several religions uh, got evolved here the religious unity the hinduism later on the buddhism jainism and sikhism so religious unity as well in that area and other religion people also came up then intermingled with that so we can say a different kind of uh, system got evolved here the language hindustani and uh, also the food as well so this zone we can say by many ways cultural racial religious geographical historical and uh, geological is having its own unity truly called as the perfect subcontinent within the continent if any area perfectly demarcated by very distinct boundaries in historical cultural political aspects as well then we can say this politically it is called as south asia south asia in which uh, the india is dominating in that zone so we can say this thing so three four point bhi aapke paas mein honge that will be enough but this diagram if you are unable to draw then what you can do you have to draw a kind of v shape and then you have to make like that and you have to draw himalaya here and some mountain like that and then the water bodies and this you can write the indian subcontinent this land indian subcontinent so that thing will also be enough here